Hi there, Libra. Welcome back. Welcome back to Magic Root Work of Love and Prosperity. I'm Aunt Rosalind, and welcome. If you have not met me yet, I am a shamanic healer. I practice Contra Root Work and Hoodoo, Candle Magic, and Manifesting to help you break through my clients, my subscribers, uh, to your better life, the life that you dream of, to help you heal from wounds of the past and to help you manifest love, wealth, better family relationships, banishing negative things from your past to liberate yourself. Um, I would like to welcome you. Um, if you like my readings, please subscribe, please like and share. I thank you for uh, your orders with me, your readings with me. I thank you very much for that. I've had a beautiful time getting to know my subscribers and meeting you all. Thank you so much. Um, I wanted to say also that I make the readings, you know, they're based on what my subscribers and, you know, my clients, what they ask for during readings, you know. So basically, I have the Love Triangle readings, and I also have these readings that are starting now. Um, they are based on the person that... You know, you love them or you're attracted to them, but you're just getting to know them. You might not know them that well. So this is <clears throat> about the person you love and about how they feel about you, okay? Also, I wanted to tell you, Libra, that it is a new moon last week, and we're going to have a full moon in Aries in about four more days. So it's a good time for you to manifest and look forward to what you want to happen during your full moon. Okay, and also I do have emergency readings now. They're just being offered now, and you will get your reading back in one day. So if you don't want to wait, that is uh, a good option for you. Um, if you order your reading on www.rootsofearth.net, I will usually have it finished in three to seven days. That's the new time now. And if you have a regular reading, you order in the description box below is three to seven days from now. Okay. So Libra, <laughs> let's get started on who your new love is. What are they about? Okay. I've been sitting with the cards for a while and when I shuffle and I align to the cards, the energy, I am a clear audience Libra. So um, I hear different things while I'm shuffling and meditating with the cards. And I kept hearing that, guess what? Someone is a fiancé. Someone is going to be a fiancé and someone is going to get married. Okay. Now, the only reason I'm saying that, Libra, is because, you know, I, I feel, you know, and I trust that Spirit is blessing some of you, and it might not be every single one of you that's about to become engaged or get married, but I felt like they were stating it so clearly that I should go ahead and say something, you know. Not trying to make anyone else feel bad or anything like that. It's just that it was so clear the way that they were stating it, you know, because as I shuffle, I ask the question, you know, who is this mate? Who is this person? Who is this new love? And I was hearing it's the fiancé, engagement, you know, trust, the whole nine yards, really good energy and vibration, okay? So as I look at the Gilded Tarot in the middle, it's really um, telling me about the energy of your new love, Libra. There's someone that they could be male or female, okay? They could be an earth sign, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, they could be someone who is really getting their feet off the ground with business, work, employment. They're starting out. They know where they want to put their effort. Okay, Libra, they seem to be certain about things. Okay, they seem to know how they want to invest their time and everything. So they seem kind of solid. Also, um, they're willing to have an open mind about exploring and taking new options for how they want to arrive at a certain destination in their life, okay? So we've got the world energy right next to the Three of Pentacles. They're willing to work hard and step it up and explore and complete whatever it is they need to complete. You know, the cycle of anything that didn't 
you know, that wasn't good for them, it seems like they're ready to end that and keep going in this way of manifesting. Because it's going from a three to the world to the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is, it's a lady there on the card, you know, but it could represent male or female energy to be comfortable and financially secure, prosperous, have all of their creature comforts set, you know, secure foundation, having everything they want enjoying their life, taking it easy because they know they've attained this wealth, okay? So as you can see, this is pretty good. You know, if this is their personality, if this is truly the way they feel, this is wonderful. Yeah, Spirit is saying it's abundance. You know, they, they're going to have abundance. They're going to have wealth. They're willing to work for it. And uh, the next row beneath the Nine of Wands, they're willing to stand their ground, even though they've been wounded by something in their life. You know, it hasn't been all peaches and cream for them, but they're territorial. They're willing to uh, defend their self. They're willing to maintain what they worked for, even if they had some bumps and bruises along the way, Libra, okay? Also, there is the swords energy next to it. It's the six of swords where they have had to, at one time in their life, move along to something better. So if it's something that they try to attain and it gave them too many bumps and bruises, they're going to keep thinking about their goals and they're going to go to what's even better. They're not going to let, you know, different things knock them off their tasks, slow them down. They're adaptable. Okay, you see the way the world card, it fell right above the Six of Swords. They're ready to move along whenever they have to because they can be open-minded. Okay, they don't really give up easy. You know, I really like the personality of this person. I don't know, Libra, exactly who it is. <clears throat> it could be another air sign because I see the swords energy is there, right? Um, you know, it could be, uh, you know, it could be someone who's a fire sign, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have wands and then we have the ace of wands, Okay. So it could be any sign, but it's really the energy here that I like because they're willing to keep working and keep going. It's, it's like they're just so positive. That's what I'm getting from this person, Libra. They finish out with the Ace of Wands. That's a beautiful, beautiful new beginning. It's like they've attained this goal. It's like so powerful to have the Ace of Wands come up in a read like that. Okay, especially when I was asking the question, who is this person? Show me who this person is, you know. So the Ace of Wands, that's that's wonderful. So it could be a fire sign, but it could be just the energy of they want to attain this new beginning, this new life, and they're not willing to just stop because of the bumps and bruises that they may have suffered in the past. Okay, so... <clears throat> Moving along on the on the outer edges, you see the romance oracle. And this is, you know, how do they feel about you, Libra? Okay. So we have the soulmate energy. I mean, it's like the soulmate energy is being confirmed. Here we have the soulmate. So they're thinking of you as being their soulmate. Okay. They are thinking, yes, I have found my soulmate. Okay, so possibly they see you, Libra, as someone they want to invest in, their heart energy, their uh, abundance, their career. They feel like you're a complement to that because this person really, they don't play around too much. They're focused on their goals and happiness that, and things that they want. So it says that, you know, yes, this is your soulmate. So possibly they are looking at you in those eyes of, engagement, you know, fiance, marriage, you know, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations have helped to bring you together. So this could mean, Libra, that they have been thinking of you for a while, that they were aligning themselves for a soulmate and a long-term partner before they met you. And now that they've met you, they feel confirmed, you know. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So this may be um, a little bit difficult sometimes, you know, because 
if you notice the male energy in the card is <laughs> he doesn't want to talk a whole lot you know but you see the angels are still there around them you see that so possibly they don't always Libra say something you know really heartfelt or expose their emotions all the time but it looks like there's a lot of support here for this relationship even if it's you know I don't want to say it's everyone who's listening but it looks like there is so much support for this relationship to happen uh, passion okay allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so there's passion possible lust there too passion heart-to-heart -heart conversations soulmate calling in your soulmate and then on the bottom of the oracle deck it's it's safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the greatest love of all so i mean libra i think that you won on positive reading <laughs> on positive readings today with uh who is the new love and what do they feel about you I mean, I think you won, Libra. I haven't done all the readings yet because I started them all today. But, you know, these, I started all of these today. But, I mean, this is like such beautiful energy. It's clear. It's clarity. You know, it's a foundation here. This person is great because they already have a whole complete self before they even meet you, Libra, which is so important. We forget about that. Any of my clients who come to me about the love readings and everything, they come to me with these heartbroken questions and I have empathy for them. And I want to see them do better, Libra. And I always tell them, build yourself up. Build yourself up first. Build yourself up so much that you are only attracting the ones that you would want. The ones that you would seek. You want a great partner. You want someone who loves himself, someone who's not afraid of commitment, someone who is willing to give and receive love because it's not taking away from who they are. So you have to build yourself up. You have to become that that you're seeking. Okay? That's really what this is all about. Love yourself, heal yourself. You know, enjoy yourself. You're special. Think about how special you are, how unique you are. Okay, that is one of the biggest things, and I talk about that all the time with my uh, clients. Okay, uh, Libra, <clears throat> I hope that gave you some good feels, you know. I know that I didn't hit every single Libra that's watching, but I hope I was able to give you some clarity, okay? I'll talk to you again uh, later, and you have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye-bye.